Hello and welcome to Ant Mini's Week in Review, a weekly recap of the top stories in medical imaging. My name is Brian Casey, Editor-in-Chief of AntMini.com. Uh, we're finishing up the uh, second week of October. We're officially into pumpkin spice season. Uh, and the headlines in radiology were uh, pretty spicy as well, so let's get right to it. Uh, our top story for the week was a new initiative from online search giant Google in the radiology space. Uh, the company's Google Cloud division this week launched Medical Imaging Suite. It's a new software platform that's designed to improve interoperability between medical imaging facilities. Uh, it could also support the development of artificial intelligence algorithms. Uh, everything Google does, it draws a, a ton of attention, so this is a story that we're going to be uh, following really closely in the weeks and months to come. Uh, next up was a study in JAMA Network Open on how primary care practitioners are frustrated with the process of following up on abnormal findings in cancer screening exams. They feel responsible for following up, but they don't feel like they're getting the support they need. So that probably sounds familiar to anybody working in healthcare right now. Uh, another popular story was a new column by the one and only PAX man, Michael J. Canavo. He recommends that if you're thinking about replacing your PAX or enterprise imaging system, you might wanna give your existing vendor uh, a closer look rather than just showing them out the door. Uh, in the realm of molecular imaging, researchers from Vanderbilt University found that when it comes to clinical trials for Alzheimer's disease, study participants who are Asian, Black, or Hispanic have lower odds than white participants of having a positive amyloid PET scan, even though they have higher rates of Alzheimer's disease. Uh, in Europe, the JFR, the big annual radiology meeting in France, is going on. Uh, visit our sister site, antminieurope.com, for coverage of that important Congress. Uh, that's it for the week. Signing off for antmini.com. My name is Brian Casey.